Here are a few of my favorite part-related enhancements in Inventor 2017. First one is the new sketch-related patterning option. So I'm going to create a sketch on this face and what's kind of neat here is that these sketches could actually be 3D sketches. You're not limited to just 2D sketches so you could have like a spline going all over the place and then use that as the basis for your pattern. I'm just going to create some points in here. So I'm just going to start the point command and I'm just going to create some points. As you can see, I'm going to click finish. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sketch pattern. So I'm going to use the sketch related one and notice how it's automatically selected all those points. Now if I had drawn lines or circles, I'd have to go through and pick the points. In this case, it sees the points and just automatically goes out and selects them. So there's the base point I'm going to use. So it's going to snap that center point to all those, those points. I'm going to click OK and notice how it's patterned in. Now as it's related to that sketch, I'm just going to edit that sketch. Let's move this point and this point and let's delete these ones. I'll finish the sketch and notice how the pattern has updated. So it's really that simple and like I said you can use 2D or you can use 3D sketches so really the the sky's the limit on how you want that pattern to happen. Next is the new guide rail or guide option with the boundary patch. So you can see I've got an open end on here and it might be a little bit tough to see but I've actually got a work point in here. So I'm going to use the patch feature here. I'm going to pick this here, this circular edge here. And you can see that you know previous to 2017 it would just create a flat boundary there. Now what I can do is I can use the guide rail option and I can pick sketch geometry or a point and it will use that point to aid in the process of locating where we want that to go. There we go. It's a little bit tough to select there because it was tough to see. So now what it's going to do is use that point and ensure that the boundary patch actually goes through that point. So like I said, in this case, I was using a point, but it actually could have been sketch geometry. And again, it's just another factor. It's like when you're lofting, kind of give it some guidance on how it should actually create that surface. The third one of my favorites to the, in the part environment within 2017 is the show relationships. Now it's maybe not as slick as some of the other CAD offerings out there, but it still gives you the, the same type of information. And what am I talking about? Well, I've got this, this chamfer here. And what I'd like to see is kind of what's, what is this thing related to? Like what, what, what is, is kind of the parents that kind of got me to this point? So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to start relationships. So now what I can see is I've, I've selected this chamfer. And what it's showing me is that this extrusion is somewhat based on that chamfer. So from here, what I can do is I can actually select it. I could actually edit the feature from here. Or I can go the other way and I can take a look at the parents. So this sketches is required or was done before. I can also see this extrusion. So again, I can select it and I can actually modify that feature. So now that this is selected, I can see its children and I can see its parents. If I pick sketch six here and I select it, notice that sketch is selected and I can see its children and I can see its parents. So if I was to take extrusion two here, so if I was to go to extrusion two and I was gonna say delete, notice that it wants to delete sketch six just because of all the intricacies that are happening in there. So that's what the relationship manager or browser gets for you. So you can see, well, if I was to modify this feature, what am I impacting? What children are related to it? Or I can see what parents kind of got me to this point. So it's the relationships browser. It's just a right click on it to get you to that point. So again, there are three of my favorite new features within the part environment in Inventor 2017.